I'm Russell Earl, and I work for Industrial Light and Magic, and I was the visual effects supervisor for ILM on uh, Captain America Civil War. The main parts, really, really my job is just keeping everyone going. <laughs> Uh, you know, we it, on films like this, there's such a, a huge scope of things that need to get done. Um, everything from design of characters to uh, airport to final images. So, um, you know, we have a great team of artists at ILM, and uh, you know, I'm fortunate enough to to have worked with a, a lot of these people on on a bunch of different films. So we just. Really, we all get in a room, we look at the body of work, and we start to come up with a plan on how we're going to attack it. It's just one, you know, one piece at a time. Put, put the map out there, come up with a plan, and then start to execute the plan. Um, you know, and we've done enough of these, working with Marvel and working you know, on, on big films like this, that we sort of... We, you, you can't always plan for the worse because, but you, you know things are going to change and move and you just have to be flexible. So I think, um, I think, uh, back to your question, your question was about... Just your role. Just, what, just the role, role. yeah. So, um, you know, my role day to day is to just check in with everybody and sort of... Uh, Help, help the team along, help the decision-making process so that we can execute our plan that we've, we've put into place. You know, I work with all the different disciplines, modeling, lighting, animation, um, compositing, you know, I've got a great team of people and we just sort of work together to execute the work and bring it all along. I think that's always the, the that's one of the difficult things is working, you know, working with directors and, and the studio and Dan is, um, you know, achieving that vision of what they have because there'll be concept art and there'll be stunt viz and there'll be pre viz. It's sort of taking the best of all those pieces and distilling it down. You know, what is it that, what is it about all these things and trying to sort of like, you know, as a supervisor looking at that looking at all of that and trying to help to help achieve the vision that you're seeing as a as a consistent across all of those things so things like you know with the stun viz it's looking at okay the grounded performance that you get from that the previs is more of a story point like okay looking at the previs we can use that you know one of the things we also do is is tech viz you know it's looking at the previs looking at the stunt work looking at the location and when that stuff is done, it sort of sometimes it, it changes in in you know in movie order. It'll come later or earlier, or it'll also change in uh, geographic location. So one of the things we do is is sort of okay. Let's look at everything that we've got: the concepts, the the locations, the stunts, the, and and try to help make that story, help tell that story identify what the key story points are because at the end of the day it's all about trying to tell the story and, and every you know every shot every camera move every everything is all you know driving that story forward so we um, look at all those pieces and we try to distill it down keep the important things but then also bring you know bring another level to it and we're you know they're collaborative in that if we have suggestions or ideas uh, you know, we can put those forward and, you know, the brothers and, and Dan and Marvel, you know, they're always looking for that extra input because everybody can get so focused in just the area that they're, you know, of their specialty. And since we're sort of, you know, we, we sometimes we say, you know, visual effects is like the dumping ground. That's where everything just ends up. And, you know, things like when you're shooting, there'll be a take that technically for some reason, oh, we can't use that take because they went off the green screen or whatever, you know, little things like that. But, you know, you sort of learn that once anything ends up in editorial, it's, it's fair game. So, you know, it's always keeping an eye on that and um, just trying to, trying to balance all the pieces. Uh, you know, I used the analogy in the other room, you know, it's, it's keeping all the plates spinning and, and just trying to move the story forward and, and 
you know, it's it's interesting. Sometimes we'll be working on stuff and and we'll be, you know, trying to design, you know, whatever it is, the seams on the under, you know, on the armpit of a costume or little little things like that. Or what does the, the pattern on the on the shoes look like? And it's like, oh, well, don't use that pattern because that was what, you know, they had to make the shoes so that the guy wouldn't fall off the thing when he did the flip, you know, so, but, uh, and then sometimes, con oh, you don't, you guys don't have that concept art, you know, things that were thought about earlier or, you know, because, we come into it sometimes at the end, sometimes at the beginning, but, you know, things get lost along the way. So we're always just trying to, you know, take that dumping ground and turn it into, um, you know, the director's vision. Yeah, so we're, I mean, sometimes we refer to to being on set as damage control, you know, just making sure, because you always want to, you always want to do, you know, what's needed. You, ne you never want to be in a position where you have to say, no, we can't do that. And fortunately, you know, we're fortunate that, you know, we can do so much these days and we've got a great, a great team that, uh, r you know, rarely do you have to say no to things. And, and I think that's one thing we'll be shooting and, and, you know, day to day on set, it's the kind of thing where, you know, I'm always, I'm always looking and, and, and just thinking, okay, what worst case scenario, what could happen here? Is that character going to change? Is that background going to change? Just trying to always, always have the escape hatch. You know, if, if worst case we had to, you know, change the background or do this, could we? And um, you know, it's just always something that's kind of in the back of your mind, and it's you know, it's interesting because the time it takes to complete the film, you know, we shoot something and we might not see the final results of it for six months, eight months, and there's always that. You know, there's definitely nights of restless sleep where it's like oh gosh I hope we got you know I hope we got what we needed for that or you know are we missing something or is it going to change but you know um, in the end uh, it always seems to we always seem to, to work it out so we're fortunate you know I think ILM has a reputation for having a great production group and and I can certainly attest to that like we have yeah, uh, you know, Jeannie King was our is sort of our executive producer at ILM, and then Catherine Farrar was our day to day producer on Civil War. And then underneath the two of them, there's a huge team of uh, coordinators and um, PAs and coordinators and production managers that just wrangle, you know, wrangle the schedule, wrangle all of the stuff that and keep everything going. You know, I'm. I can I can remember just about every you know I can remember a lot of details on shots and 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 where we are with shots but you know what time I need to be in dailies or what room I need to be in or where we need to go you know I'm fortunate in that they can just point in a direction and say okay you need to do this so I don't have to worry about schedule or those kinds of things and we do you know we work very closely so we're always you know checking in and you know I I've been able to just sit in my office and say, hey, what's that shot where, you know, Iron Man hits that thing and lands on the, and then someone outside in the office, you know, can, oh, it's uh, CP 1010, because we have, a, you know, we've got a pretty solid structure in place for finding shots and reviewing shots, but, uh, you know, really the production office is sort of the heart of the whole operation and keeping everything going. Um, you know, which is great because then, you know, I, I can focus on on other things and and, uh, and know that you know they've always got you know the schedule and everything totally under control. And we'll you know we'll meet a lot and we'll you know we have what are called our, our hallway meetings once a week where we you know name because they used to take place out in the hallway, but now you know we'll sit and we'll just do a quick overview of all the shots and touch base and make sure you know we have the resources that we need and, and uh, the time that we need to get stuff done.